the library and you're able to find a birth certificate or a death certificate or some type of anecdotal evidence, what really, really shook you? When you come back and you seem to have historical documentation that wasn't previously or widely known, but you were able to discover it from clues within the investigation, what piece of documentation was it that just really made you say, wow? Well, we, a lot of our cases are confidential, but we did a case that was uh, in the New York City area that we were able to catch an EVP over a certain place in the basement. And I can't get into too much detail, but um, you remember this, Steve. Yeah. Uh, one of the people who lived in the home had just been removed from the home for, for issues. During that time, there was a there was an actual what kind of book was that? It was, um, it was like a diary. Yeah, it's a little diary book. And uh, upon you know, looking through the diary, his daughter had been looking through it. Um, she came up. She found the same name that we caught on on BDP. And uh, he had stated in his diary how this girl had come to him, told him that she was pregnant. This is his mistress. And he figured it, it was best to take her life and throw her down the well in the basement. So that had to be turned over to the local law enforcement. We had to step away from it at that time. And uh, so that was, that was definitely a, a powerful case. It's pretty good proof when you find a, an EVP of a name that is in a book that you didn't even know existed, and then come to find out that that woman got thrown in a well right over where you caught the EVP. 